Look at that donkey. I think they're like 12 bar row circle hooks. Now I want to start putting down some big strip baits. You can see him, he's a big snapper. We're back into it boys and girls. Today we're heading out west for the big springtime snapper run and I got a theory today. Big bait or big fish. Look at the size of this bad boy next to my hand. This one's 500 grams. We're overkill for 50 meters of water, but there's a lot of big snapper out there, so we'll see what happens. We're on the water. Heaps of other boats coming out today, which isn't a surprise because the swell's so low and the wind's low as well, which doesn't often happen. It makes some pretty magic days out there, especially at this time of year. But um, yeah, something also a bit different today. I've got a, f a bag of bait with me today. I know you guys are going to be saying, oh GC, what are you doing? But yeah, sometimes a big old dirty hunk of bait can be the difference between a big snapper or not. So yeah, we'll try that real big um, 500 gram catch lure and probably chuck a big fillet of kawai on there as well and drop that down and see what takes it. But yeah, we'll cruise out to the bar now. Um, I'm guessing the crossing is going to be dead flat, so it should be good. See you there. I'm about to cross the bar to go out on the west coast, and I have one POB. Well, she's only a forecast one meter swell, but there's still some big waves rolling in. At the moment it's looking best to head straight out that direction. Queasy just sitting here on these swells. Well, I'm just going to. Should I drop? I might drop this little sucker actually. There's a lot of sign down there. So I thought I may as well stop and have a fish. Actually a hell of a lot of bait sign down there. So there's a heap of bait there and heaps of kawai as well. My lure is getting hit on the way up and the way down. So I think I'll just carry, out, carry on out to sort of 45-50 meters. Just stopped again over another big patch of bait. And I actually forgot to before. But I should have um, stopped and grabbed a few kawai for bait. Do a bit of... Get a couple of nice big fresh kawai. Use them for bait. That's actually what I was going to do. And then I remembered I had bait in the freezer from when I was um, drone fishing. So I thought I may as well bring that out to get rid of it. Our kawai on. He's gonna jump. There he goes. Ah, oh, gone. That's our fresh bait. So that's actually better than our kawai bait. Good sized mackies. They're actually one of my favourite baits for snapper. Just a whole mackie. Really good bait.
And a car, I got it. Alright, so we've got a bit of fresh bait now. There'll be plenty because we've got a decent amount of frozen bait in there too. And we don't need to take too much. Let's just cruise on out deeper. See if we can get into these snaps. All that bait sign, just Kawai and Mackies. So I've just got to 51, 52 meter depth. And um, same thing, there's just heaps of bait sign on the bottom. So I think we'll chuck our big um, 500 gram squid wings lure on and drop that down without bait, see if we catch anything. And um, then we'll start adding big strips of kawai onto that, fresh kawai. And see how we go. I've got 50 meters of anchor line there, but obviously I can't anchor in 50 meter depths. I've only got 50 meters of rope, so um, hopefully drifting is all right. Uh, there's a little bit of breeze, but we will see what happens. Um, shouldn't be too bad using that um, 500 gram weight. So yeah, we'll get some baits out, get that jig on, and see how we go. Oh yeah, look at that donkey. <laughs> I think they're like 12 bar row circle hooks or something like that. Made for um, deep dropping for harp hooker and that sort of thing and um, like over 100 meter depths, like 100 to 300 sort of thing. But uh, yeah, the snapper out here are pretty relentless in springtime. So what we all do. So we'll just cut a fillet off that Mackie. Chuck him back in the bait tray. I might just hook it through twice onto that circle hook and um, send that down. I may as well get the net ready because I'm expecting big things. Alright, we are on the bottom. Loosen the drag off a bit. Click her on. We're getting a few bites on our other one. something on don't know what it is yet it's obviously taking a big bait though hopefully it's not a shark please don't be a shark oh ho you mother. You school shark. Come on, give me my back. Sod. Got one new piercing. Back you go. I was a little bit worried about that. Whether I'd get sharks in the mix, because obviously using bait attracts sharks more. It's another perk of using um, lures. You don't catch anywhere near as many sharks. Fish on. Not really fighting much. It's a car wire. 
I'm not actually having much luck here at all, which is very odd. Um, I think it's actually high tide, which could be why. Fish may not be on the bite, being um, slack tide. But regardless, I'm going to head in to about 45 metres where there was a lot more bait sign. And fish there. And failing that, I'll probably go into about 35 and drop the anchor down. And um, just sit the rest of the day there, I think. But yeah, it's not really working here, which is not what I was expecting. But we've got to make something happen. Right, so we've come back into 38 metres. Once again, there's a sign down there, but um, I think I'll just try drifting first but um, it's not working I'll just uh, get the anchor out and drop it down hopefully 37 meters we've got 50 meters of anchor rope and about five meters of chain five or six meters of chain so um, hopefully that's enough but there's only one way to find out the wind's actually died off nicely here on our anchor yeah. right so anchors on the bottom I can actually feel it um, so I think this is gonna work my anchor line got a fish on As well, on the big rod. Oh, bloody hell. So he had one on, he got off, and I just hooked my big line and my little line by the looks of it. Finally on to something. I don't want to speak too soon, but it sort of feels like a snapper. Short runs and those head shakes. Whereas if it was a cow, I'd just be screaming off. So, good sign so far. There it is. <laughs> it's a good snapper. Oh yeah, that's what you came here for. That's what we came here for. Right. That's it. 
Not a bad fish. Let's get into another one. So I've just put another little strip of Jack Mac on this um, pocket rocket micro jig. Let it back down. See if we get another big snap. Yeah, got some bites. Push on. And it feels like a little one. <laughs> Come out west to catch big snapper and look what you get. Okay, I want to start putting down some big strip baits, but the, probably the best rig I can muster up at the moment is a, um, I think it's a four ounce ball sinker and a soft bait worm hook. <laughs> it should do the trick alright and I'll put some big strips of kawai on that and send them down. All right. So this rod had nothing tied on it because of that huge ass tangle I got before. So I've gone back to that ball sinker, a worm hook, and a nice big strip of fresh kawai. See how that goes. Alright, so down goes my first big bait. It's on the bottom now. Let's put it in free spool. Thumb the spool for a bit, and if anything wants to take it, I'll just give them some um, slack line. So I've pulled the anchor up, uh, it just wasn't happening for us at that spot. Gonna move in probably 30 meters, 25 meters maybe, and um, drop the anchor down there. It should be able to hold better there, hopefully, and hopefully, we can get into some fish before we head home. Yeah, but it's quite a nice warm day out here now, so it's quite pleasant. Alright, we're in 27 metres here. We've got something eating this big piece of kawai. nibbles at the moment. Hopefully it's just a tentative fish, a really big one. It's better. Now we're talking, guys. That's quite a funny bite. It's really, really sort of tentative. And I can see him, he's a big snapper. What happened was he engulfed my bait and now he's actually bleeding from the gills. But yet another good fish. He didn't have that bait all the way down.
there you go, another nice snapper. Won't be very good photos today because we've got the sun behind us being our anchor, but not a bad fish. Now we had to reach right down inside his gills to um, get our hook back. So we'll just fill up the line, but the line actually feels mint. There's not any chafing or anything, so we'll just get another big bait back on there and um, send it down. Another big strip of car wire, I think. Ah, oh, so bloody messy, this bait business. Alright. Okay, hook back in there, send another bait down. Now I'm not completely sure yet, but it sort of felt like something was having a go at this straight away. That's all that happened last time, I barely even knew he was there. I just wound up, wound and it came up tight. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Still biting it. Do you think he's had enough time to play with it? A few more bites and I'll give it a wind, I think. That's the thing when you're using baits this big, you've got to give them time to eat it. I'll tell you what there, there is something cool about chucking down a huge bait. Because you know whatever's going to eat it is going to be big. Or at least decent size with snapper. Oh, well, here we go. Surely he's eating it by now. There we go. Fish on. Nice snapper. Not a bad snapper at all. Surely he's eating it by now. There we go. Good run, good run. Come on, fight. Yes. I think that might have been a shark.
just a clean cut through the line I'm going to go out on a limb and say that was a shark that one so this is the new um, new style Kabura we got here Kabura head with a big old slab of bait I don't think they're going to mind that the sink is not sinker coloured and that it's bright orange <laughs> but yeah I don't think they mind they seem pretty hungry Hey, the jig sitting on the bottom. I gave it a couple of real, oh, real erratic yanks up. Just real slight twitches. Probably only coming up about that far each time. One, then one the slacker, and then one more. And it just got whacked. I'll try it again, see if it happens. Just leave it sitting on the bottom because I think they see it and they just swim around looking at it not doing anything because it's not moving. Here we go. So it turns out the jigs are going to start catching fish too. Tell you what, when it works, it's so much easier than using bait. He's just a smaller one. The one I hooked last time was bigger. For sure though, he's pulling string. I'll tell you what, it's pretty warm today. How good is it to be out on an ocean like that? Bar's just in there. Gonna head back in, it's outgoing tide at the moment, so the bar may not be too nice, but should be too bad either. There's not a hell of a lot of swell going on. So we'll get back in there and shoot back to the boat ramp.